How can we configure what fields are mandatory, optional, or hidden in SAP screens? Today, I'm going to explain how to configure the field status with a demo on SAP S4HANA. I'm also going to explain some of the most common issues that happen due to a wrong field status configuration. Welcome back to the channel. This is Abdullah Galal, and I publish weekly videos on YouTube related to SAP and the business processes. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check the other videos. The concept of field status in SAP works almost the same way across different modules. So today, as an example, I'm going to use two transactions, the general ledger master data and the financial accounting posting. So I'm going to start with the general ledger master data transaction FS00. Now let's say I'm going to create a new GL account, this one, for example, so create. Now I have to choose a GL account type and then I have to choose an account group. Usually, the first value you select in the screen will control most of the field status for the other fields. So, whenever I choose an account group, this will determine what fields are mandatory, optional, or hidden in the other screens in this transaction. So, let's say, for example, I'm going to choose SAKO, this one. Now, I have to fill the uh, description, so test, enter, and if I go to control data, you see there are some fields here. Now, let's see how we can configure some of these fields to be mandatory or hidden. As I said, this is controlled by the account group. So to go to the configuration of the account group, to go to the configuration of any field in the system, the easiest way is to press on F1. It doesn't always work, but it works around 70% of the time. Most of the time, it will be available. This one. So this will take you directly to the configuration of this object. So I stop. All I have to do is I stop on the field and then I press on F1 and then I can click on this. It's not always available, but when it's available, it is very useful. So click here, continue. Now SAP will take me directly to the screens of the configuration of this object. So general ledger accounting, define account group. Now let's go into our chart of account, YCEOA. And this is the account group I'm using now, SAKO. Double click. Every screen or every group of fields will be grouped in one of these pages. So if you would go to account management, for example, here you have open item management, sort key, authorization group, and you, for every field, you can choose whether the field is suppressed, hidden, no one can see it, whether it is required, so the user cannot continue without putting a value in this field, optional or display only. No one can change it, but it's only displayed. So for every field, you can choose one of these. Now, I'm not going to change anything for SACO because this is a standard configuration object and I always prefer not to change anything in standard configuration. So I'm going to copy this account group into a new one. Let's say ZAKO and I'm going to call it test. This way I can try anything I want without changing the original SAP configuration. So whenever I want to check the configuration done by, done by SAP itself, I can easily find it. So try to not change any standard configuration in the system when you are testing. So I'm going to double click here and let's change some of these values. Account management, let's say for example, open item management is required, sort key is required, authorization group required, and I will keep this suppressed. Okay, let's go to the second screen. Uh, reconciliation account, I can make it optional. Field sys group is always required. Post automatically only, let's say this one is required. And let's go to the other screen. Suppressed, okay. Suppressed. Let's say account control. Currency is required, okay. Tax category suppress. Only balance suppress, alternative account suppress. And save. Now let's go back to our screen, to the GL account. Now you see when I choose SAKO, I have these fields. If I go back and I change this to, let's refresh the screen so we can find our configuration, FS00, again, create. Now if I choose the new account group, ZACO, okay, and test. 
control data. See now we have different fields. So because I changed the field status in the account group, it controlled what fields are mandatory, optional, or hidden in the other screens. This is why now the sort key is mandatory. The authorization group is also mandatory. I'm not sure which value to use here, so I'm going to change again the field status. And open item management is also mandatory. So let's say 001, 3. and fill out all required entry fields because open item management is mandatory. So I have to choose here. This is very useful, so you can control the master data because sometimes in some companies you can find mistakes in the master data because the users forget to choose some fields. So if for example we know that any account in this account group must be managed with open items then we can make this field mandatory so whenever a user creates a new account he has to choose open item management. Create bank interest field says group is always mandatory so let's say YB01 Post automatically only is mandatory also in our field status. And I'm, I want to use this GL account in testing now, so I'm going to remove this one. So let's go back to the configuration of the account group. Account management, it's not here. Post automatically only is required, no, I want this one to be optional. And also authorization group, I want authorization group to be suppressed. I don't want to see it. Save. Let's go back to our screen. Create again. Every time you change something in the configuration, you have to refresh the transaction by going out and going back in. Otherwise, you cannot see your configuration changes. And the description is test 01. Control data, sort key 001, open item management is mandatory. And as you see, we don't have authorization group anymore. And if I go to create bank interest, this one is YB01. And post automatically only is only optional now. So I don't have to check it. Now I can check the fields. Group account number is mandatory. So let's go back. Now this one is not available in the account group. This is a very good example. This field group account number, you cannot control from the account group. This one is mandatory because we activated a function when we assigned our chart of account to a group chart of account, which means that we will do consolidation. So SAP will ask you to always fill this field. So not all of the fields will be controlled in the same place. But most of the fields we have in the screen are controlled by the account group, but there are other fields that are controlled by other functions in the system. Sometimes it can be difficult to find what controls this field, but you can always Google or ask and you'll find your way. Now the group account number is mandatory because we have a group chart of account. So I'm going to choose any account here. Check. Now I can save the GL account. So this is the first part. So now you know how to control the field status in master data. Now let's go to the other part, how to post a financial entry and how to control the fields when we post a financial entry. So let's go to financial entry posting slash O F B or let's say slash N F B zero one. So first I'm going to ch choose a date. So 26 2020. Now, whenever you post a transaction, you always have two parts in the document. You have the header and the line items. This applies anywhere. So the header and the line items, usually you will have different field status control for both of them. So in my case, in financial accounting, the header part is controlled by the document type. So let's say I'm going to choose AB. Now, once I select AB, I don't have any mandatory fields. So the system is automatically taking me to the line items. Now let's change the configuration as we did in the master data and see how this works. So again, to go to the configuration of the document type, the easiest way is to press on F1. And I can go from here, continue. And maintain document types for, define document types in financial accounting global settings. Now let's go to our document type AB. Okay. And here, 
you can see that required during document entry. Reference number, document header text. So if I choose this, these fields will be mandatory whenever I post a transaction with this document type. So let's save and go back to posting a financial entry. Document date, type, enter. Now this time SAP is asking me to mandatory fill the reference and document header text because this is controlled by the document type. So this is the first part. So let's say the reference is one, two, three, four. And this is usually very, very useful because most of the time you can, you want to force the user to put a reference on why he is posting a financial entry. And the text is anything, enter. Now this is for the header. Let's go to the line items. The fields that will appear in the next screens will be controlled by the posting key and the GL account number. The posting key in the configuration, we can maintain the field status. And for the GL account number, there is a field in the master data, which is the field status group that will control all the fields in the next screen. So let's see how this works. So this is the posting key. And I'm going to use our GL account. This 1000. Now, as you see, we have some fields here. They are all optional. We don't have any required fields. Now let's go and try to make some of these fields required and make some of them hidden. So I'm going to open a new screen, slash OFS00. And this is our GL account number. Create bank interest, field status group. So this is where we can control the field status when we post a financial entry. So let's go into the configuration of this one, F1. Configuration, continue. Financial accounting, global settings, def define field status variance. So first we have to define a variant. Inside the variant, we maintain what fields are mandatory or optional. And then we assign the variant to our company code. I don't know which variant is assigned to my company code now, so I'm going to check first. So assign company code to variant. I am using company code 1710 this one, which is assigned to field status variant 0010. So I will go back and I will go to define field status variant. And I will go to 0010 field status groups. So these are the different groups in 0010. And this is the one I'm using now. So if I double click here, it will take me into the different field status fields. So go here. You can choose what fields are optional, mandatory, or suppressed. So again, I'm not going to change the standard configuration. I'm going to copy this value into a new field status group. Copy. And let's call, for example, ZB01. And this one will be test. Or ZB02. Double click. So now let's change some of the fields here. So for example, I will make the cost center mandatory, required. I will make the profit center, or yeah, the profit center, let's make it also required. Uh, I will hide the quantity, hide the profitability segment, hide functional area. So you can choose any fields you want. This is how you control what fields are mandatory or optional. So let's hide value date, hide the reason code, hide, 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 hide. Save. Now let's assign this field status group to our GL account and see how this will impact the financial posting. So back. I'm going to assign ZB02 here, ZB02, save. Now let's go into the financial posting and restart the transaction, FB01. Again, date, the document type, the reference and document header text, posting key 40, account, this one. Enter. Now, as you see, we have the cost center and the profit center mandatory, and we don't have the profitability segment anymore. 
So this is how we control the field status when posting a financial entry. So now I cannot proceed without mentioning the cost center and the profit center. Now, one of the most common issues that can happen is there can be conflicts between the field status configuration in the posting key and the field status group. Because both of them, as I said, so let's fill this one. Now, posting key and the account number, both of them will control what fields are mandatory, optional, or hidden. So if there is a conflict between the configuration of the field status in these two objects, this will cause you a lot of issues when posting transactions. So for example, now I have the cost center set as mandatory in the field status group. And I'm using the posting key 40. So let's go into the configuration of the posting key and see how we can control the field status. So again, F1. And financial accounting global settings, define posting keys. Define posting key. And I'm using posting key 40. So let's go here. Maintain field status. These are exactly the same fields as the ones you can find in the field status group. They are controlled by both the posting key and the field status group they both have to be aligned. So for example, if we say that the cost center is mandatory in the field status group, then you should make it optional in the posting key. So this way there is no conflict because optional can work with anything. But if I choose that the cost center is hidden in the posting key and the mandatory in the jail account, this will cause you an issue. This will give you an error. So let's try this one. So additional account assignment here, cost center, I will make it suppressed. Save. Now let's go and try to post a financial entry again. Forty. And account is zero three. Reference. And document header text. Enter. Rules for posting key, rules for posting key 40 and account, this account number set incorrectly for costal field. Costal is the cost center field. Why do I have this error? Because the posting key is saying that the field is hidden and the jail account master data is saying that the field is mandatory. So now there is a conflict. I cannot have both. You can have uh, like a mandatory with optional or you can have optional and optional, but you cannot have required and hidden. Hidden means that no one can enter the value and required means that it is mandatory. So this is a conflict. So this is why this error is one of the errors we can see a lot when posting financial entries in the system. And the point is now I'm posting a manual entry so I can easily see the error. But if you have this conflict when posting from other modules like material management or sales to finance, this can actually be an issue that is hard to trace. So now you understand how the field status concept works. I hope this was useful to everyone. If you like the video, don't forget to share it. Leave me your comments. Send me any questions you have or any comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next week.